healthy boundaries. First of all, of course, you need to recognize them, then you need to respect them, and then you need to communicate them. So it's a whole process. And there is an intricate dance that is actually happening in many people's minds and also in their actions to avoid setting healthy boundaries and to avoid, for instance, saying no to something that they've been asked or that is expected from them or that you think that is expected from you. And here are a couple of dances, avoidance mechanisms that can happen in your mind to avoid giving a no. First of all, you can find all sorts of um, excuses why it's not possible and turning that around and actually spending a lot of internal energy on that. Option number two is doing what you did in number one, but also criticizing yourself about it and feeling bad about it. So you actually waste more energy on that. Option number three is to just say there is no time. And actually there would be time if you look at it either in a deeper way or in a different way. Option number four is to not take any decision, to not say no or saying, setting clear boundaries and leaving it either up to someone or circumstances to take a decision and to set a limit. So these are all different variations on a theme. And if you are curious about that and you would like to dive deeper into how that is for you, how you handle your boundaries, I invite you to book a call with me and find out what is happening in your mind and for your in your boundaries. Hope to see you soon.